What's up everybody, it's Jeremy here from Rusty Notes Production and today I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to find and kill snare rings. So right here I have a meter track and I routered it to get good drums. Uh, modern and massive, get good drums. And it sounds something like this. Let's check it out. As you can hear, the snare has a ring to it. It sounds really good as it is right now, but the snare has a ring that isn't too pleasing. So here's how you find the snare and how you kill it. Let's check it out. So what you want to do is you grab your favorite EQ and you want to do spike with a narrow Q. And you want to do an EQ sweep until you find the ringing noise that you don't like. So here we go. Here's the first one I don't like, so I'm going to kill that until I don't hear it anymore or at least get disturbed from it. All right, I can hear some more. Okay, so let's find that too. There it is, let's kill that too. Okay, there's still one more I can hear, so let's see if we can find that too. Like, ooh, 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 ooh. Don't worry, your ears will develop and will be able to hear the sne snare rings way easier. Once you have done this a few years, so don't give up if, it's, if, if you think it's hard to find the tones, you will get there. You have just to train your ears. So let's bypass the EQ and see what we did here. Alright, let's put that in context with the whole kit. I think it sounds better too. But you don't always want to kill the ring snare. Oh, and yeah, by the way, I totally forgot. Sometimes you will find the same ring in the drum. Sorry. In the drum mic. So let's check that out and see if we can find it there too. Oh yeah, I can hear it. Woo -woo. That's the only one I heard in the room tracks. In the snare track I had three... Sorry, that's my EQ for the mic. I had three ringing tones in the snare mic. But in the room I only have one. So let's check it out with the whole kit. And I'm gonna bypass the EQs. Way more clean if you ask me. And now you can go in and boost the lows and the highs on the snare like this. Let's grab the Sheps EQ, which is my go-to EQ for snare drum. And we can boost it like... Oh, wait. Alright, here we go.
All right, so let me bypass the ship's EQ and the EQ to kill the snare ring, and let's see the difference. Way better, don't you think? Okay, so let me keep the Shep's EQ and just bypass the EQ where we kill the ring and see what happens. I think it's way better. Sure, we might lose some low end, but we can always bring that back up by bringing back this lowest one. Kind of like that. But as I said before, you don't always want to keep... Uh, you don't always want to kill the ring in the snare. Some people actually like it. And if you take a look at Slate, Steven Slate drums, especially version 5, you can see that he actually has a separate track for the ring in the snare. So let's check that out. This is Steven Slate. And let me bring in the snare ring track they have. I actually kind of like it. It's some snares, it sounds good. And in some music, it sounds good. If you go back and listen to the Hybrid Theory album from Linkin Park, they have a ton of ring snare. They actually have a separate track called like Can, where they hit a metal can, kind of like Slipknot do in duality, just to get some more cling out of the snare. So let's listen to the snare ring track here. That's what you get. This lady is kind of smart, so if you don't not if you don't like and need the ring in the snare, you can just take it out. And keep it as is. So that's all for today. That's how you find and kill snare ring if you want to. Thanks for watching.